Moving on, a devastating flood caused by a combination of natural and man-made factors, including inadequate flood management infrastructure by the government, has left some residents of uh, uh, Okutu, Okutu community in Yanagua, uh, by a state homeless. The receding uh, waters have now destroyed homes, businesses, and a locally constructed bridge, which once linked the community to other parts of the state. Community members are now calling on the Bahasa State Government and relevant agencies to address their plight by providing temporary shelters for those displaced. Uh, Dakuro Gray has details in this report. In the wake of the disaster, many residents have been forced to vacate their homes as the flood has made living conditions unbearable. You can see this narrow we are facing. The flood is greatly affecting people around in this terrain, living around in this terrain. We are greatly affected, seriously. Uh, when you go in, you can see a lot of houses flooded. And most of the people are packed away, packing away from this uh, terrain because of the severe situation of the flood affecting people around in this terrain. Well, uh, to cross is 100 naira, to and fro, 200. So imagine you are crossing three to four to five times. You know how much you spend. It really hit me so hard because this is where we used to manage to cross, but uh, before we found out, the, the water just came in and broke up the bridge. So look at what we are just using to just uh, for the matter. Even affect my inside my shop also. It just uh, some side that it did not uh, touch. So definitely it affected me badly. The residents attribute the destruction not only to natural causes but also to a lack of government intervention and preventive measures. Our houses are flooded. Some of us, you know, get out of our house and then we have to find somewhere to stay. So our properties have been, our properties have been, you know, damaged. Uh, we've not seen the presence of the government in the matter, but we had to spend our money. Even the bridge, look at the bridge that we used to cross. The flood has taken it away and then we had to follow local boats. If you're not careful, some people even in the process, they are on the boat capsized and then we have to rescue them. That's the challenge we are facing at the moment. And uh, we want the government to come. Even this, this bridge, this monkey bridge, has been like a, 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 a problem to us. We look at look forward for the government to come and do a bridge that we can confidently pass without stress. At least connect this side to the other side and then uh, with the concrete bridge. And it is going to help. But this one, every time we have to repair it, we have to continue. Maybe anytime flood comes, it has to take this bridge away because of the tide. And we have to go through the process of entering these boats and then passing, spending money and the transport. And that's, that's been a challenge for us. Flooded streets and damaged infrastructure. Residents are urging the state government to take immediate action to provide relief as they struggle to cope with the destruction. Dow Koro Gray, Plus TV News by Elsa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.